Hello my lovelies and welcome to another episode of me sat at my desk and you saying what the heck is all that stuff she has there? Well I'm going to tell you. <laughs> um, today we are going to make some of these little funky bracelets. Really good for like festivals and things and they're really simple and you can do them with lots of different methods. Um, this is just one quick one I'm going to show you, but I'll explain all the other ways that you can do. I'm sorry I'm being quick. I'm here, just because this is past me, uh, rushing around trying to get ready for my holiday. <laughs> but I wanted to leave you with some things to do. Because I hate to think of you, you know, not, not being able to, uh, to have a few minutes rest, maybe. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, let me clear all these bits out of the way first so that you can actually see some clear as it's got um, wire around it with some little beads. So you're going to need some pliers, um, not hefty pliers or not necessarily too much pliery use, only for like pushing the ends of your wire in. That's the only thing you'll need them for. You're going to need some beads. I've got some yarn here. It's kind of like a woolly... <sighs> A woolly yarn with like a stitch going down the middle so it's like a very loose it's it's like wool but stitched down the middle um but any kind of loose wool would work with this the other thing that will work with this is um roving so if you've got some wool roving that would also work with this as well you just want to get that kind of woolly effect going on. If you're allergic to wool, you could use an acrylic yarn, obviously, uh, because you don't want anything that's going to irritate your skin. This is nice and soft. And look, it goes on quite nicely. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is some either some of this thick aluminium. It's like, I think this is like a two millimetre aluminium wire. It's really light. Um, and it's just a nice thing to use. You're going to need some cutters. I'll just grab my cuttery bits out of here. So we're going to need those as well. And I've got some um, pliers there as well. Okay, so grab yourself a tin. This is my old coffee tin. That was <laughs> that's a crocheted cover I used for it, and it just sits on my desk. But for my purposes, all I need is this tin. So I want to measure around. I can actually form your circle using the tin. I'm going to test that on my wrist. Oops, sorry, not to the camera. I might need mine just to be a little wider than that because I'm going to wrap something around it. So maybe there-ish. Just checking against that one. Yeah, about there. And you want to double it over a little bit because we're going to masking tape that down. So grab my cutters, turn them the right way around, that would help. And I'm going to chomp all that bit off there. Right, the next thing you're going to need, move that tin out of the way, just use it for checking. <laughs> Checking purposes, yeah, it's fine. It's just a bit bigger than the tin. And we're going to need some masking tape. So I'm holding this in place with one hand. Should have prepared my masking tape, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm going to get myself a length of that off because I'm going to wrap it around all the little bits. So starting at one end, I'm knocking the camera again. What am I like? What am I like? Wrapping it round, wrapping it round, singing the wrapping round song. <laughs> Ignore you, hear you screaming at the screen. Don't sing another song, Kooky. Do not. Do not sing that song. Oh, I don't think I need all of this, but I'm going to keep going. So I want it to be fairly secure. Not like it wouldn't be anyway, but I want it to be kind of tight. She says ripping it half to shreds. Okay. So we have got our bangle shape. If you do not have any of this um, 
aluminium wire to hand. Uh, another thing you could use is those um, plastic zip tie things. You know, you just get that to a shape and you could take that the same way. You'd have to cut off the end bit where you'd usually put it through and then just tape it in the same way. Or anything you can get into a vague shape of this, but it's got to be kind of um, solid once you've got it. Okay, next thing we need to do. I'm going to wind off. I don't know where I started winding it off before. Wind off some of this lovely yarn. This one, it's an old one. I found it in my um, yarn cupboard. It is Lenatus de Marcy. And it is 45% wool, 45% polyamide, I think. Oh, polyacrylic and 10% polyamide. Right. I don't know why I told you that. It's not really important. <laughs> but I thought you might need to know. Requiring minds need to know these things. So flap off a whole load of this and then we're going to chop that off okay so i've got my length of yarn i'll cut off an amount if i need to add any more in i can do it's not going to be a big issue i have got my um aileen's felt and foam tacky glue i'm just going to use a little bit on the edge here just to start it off and i'm actually going to put it on the masking tape there because that will hold it down and the next thing we need to do is going to start it off and what I want to do is so that that holds a little bit don't want to get glue everywhere it will dry clear so don't worry if you do get some on your um, on your bracelet I mean on your wool on the bracelet it's fine um, and just keep winding so all the way around keep it fairly tight because otherwise you're going to get gappages in your um in your bracelet you don't want that so you want to overlap a little bit and then wrap it around i'm going to continue to do this and i'm going to leave you to wrap yours and then we will be back here and i'll show you what we're going to do next Okay, so I've wrapped mine around. I wrapped it around twice um, because I had enough in order to do that. I didn't really need as much as I cut off, but you can wrap it around twice. You could add in two different yarns if you wanted to. That would be also a good way to go um, if you wanted some different different colours going on. This one's already got quite a few colours in it it's on its own, so I kind of enjoy the colours that are there. But if I wanted to, I could wrap in something else as well. Um, you could go around it with a metallic cord if you wanted to. That would be quite nice as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some wire and some beads. So I've got these uh, funky beads here that are going to go on my bracelet. I've got some red wire for a change. I think I used gold on this one. So I'm going to go red. These were frosted beads. These are more uh, jewel colours. So I've cut, I'm trying to figure out how long I want this to be. I want it to maybe go around twice. So obviously winding it, I'm going to wind off a bit more than I think I need because I can always use the rest for another project. So that's fine. Cut it off. Now what I'm going to do is grab my pliers and I want to just make a, a little end stop <laughs> that wasn't very successful was that just so that I can hold my beads in place while I wrap them round and you want to thread on some beads don't know whether if I tip them into here it might be easier for me to pick them up I'm just going to pick up I don't know about 30 beads I think so I'm going to pick up my 30 beads on my wire you do the same you're we'll back here in a second okay so I've got about 30 beads onto one end here what I'm going to start to do now is where's my masking tape bit there I'm going to start there and I'm going to bring 
and bead down. It's a little bit fiddly, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it's all good. Right, I've got my bead there, and I want my beads to be kind of on the outer edge, if possible. Doesn't matter if they go to the other side as well. Bring it around, bring down another bead. And stagger where your beads are going to be. So I'm going to have that one there. And then wrap it around again. Bring down another bead. I think you can see where I'm going with this. <laughs> wrap it round. Come on down. <laughs> oh dear. I do amuse myself, even if I amuse no one else. And... The next one and wrapping it round about three came down at once then it's a bit like bosses isn't it you wait for one and then three come at once and you can kind of still position those beads if you want to you can use any kind of beads you could use bigger beads than this if you wanted to i just quite like these because they're uh it's not my skin peeling off, by the way. That's glue. <laughs> I'm not suddenly turned into a zombie. <laughs> Although there's time for that yet. And you could also not stick with just one wire. You could maybe alternate the colours of your wire and do a different wire and wrap that around as well. You can actually just do whatever you fancy with these because it's so easy. If you've got any um, any teenagers in your house, like who are going to like local festivals and things, and they want something to jazz up, this is a nice little thing that you can do with them as well. Because it's not hard as long as you, I mean, as long as they're old enough to handle some pliers and things, we're all good. I think I've run out of wire. That's not a problem. <laughs> I'm just going to open up that end and take off some beads there. Like so. And then I'll just lose that into the wool. Make sure my shape is still good. Uh, where the end of that wire has gone in, you don't want it to be sticking into you. So I grab my pliers and I kind of just push it in. It will go into the wool, so it kind of is hidden inside the wool, which is the nice thing about this, is that it gets hidden away. And then you have a nice little bangle. I've got two now. I might wear these when I'm away. <laughs> kind of should have done two different colours, but hey... So there you go. It's as simple as that. That is a really, really simple way to make yourself some nice felty jewellery. You can go to town on these again as well. You can go wild, go mad. Um, you can throw your beads all over the table if you like. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I, for I forgot I hadn't put the top back on properly. You get the bloopers and everything included in my videos. There you go. Right. So another thing that you could do is if you haven't got any wool, you could use um, scraps of fabric. You could use some sari ribbon. That would look good on these as well. Uh, kind of like the frayed edges and things. That will make that look really nice. Um, if you've got some wool roving, like I said before, you could use that with a wire. But if you didn't want to do that, you could do a, um, a, a, an actual wet, wet felted. <laughs> I'll start again. You could do a wet felted bracelet this one's kind of big i was using i was making the idea to fit around one of my bowls but then i thought oh actually you could do bracelets that way uh, so all i did with this it had some felt some roving wool wrapped around it quite tightly um, and then i did like two or three layers of it just to make sure it was nice and tight and then dunked the whole thing in some hot water with some soap in it I mean really hot water so that it started to um, felt then and then I just sat I went around like this literally 
just squeezing all the soap through the fibers and until it get tight got tight around it underneath here is a zip tie um, so that's perfect for this because it's kind of squishy as well so you can still squish this one around but it stays in the shape and all I did was sit for about half an hour <laughs> doing this until it properly felted dunked it and washed it in some very cold water and it all shrunk down around the zip tie and voila another bracelet obviously I would make the next one a little bit smaller than this one because it's kind of large I mean it still works but it's kind of a bit too big but if I made it a little bit smaller it would be perfect and then what I would do is to stitch into this maybe or so you could still wrap beads around this with some wire again lots of options um the scrappy ones you could do by joining together some scrappy um bits of fabric you've got into a long ribbon and then wrapping that round or even t-shirts you could cut up t-shirts and um, use that as like a t-shirt yarn wrap that round as well same same thing works really well so there we are some nice bracelets to wear to your local festivals or wherever you would like to uh, go and visit <laughs> i've just got a bit of glue stuck on that one as well i hope you've enjoyed this if you have don't forget to show me your thumbs thumbs up for this and if you like the content that we have here um, don't forget you can subscribe and if you subscribe you can click on the little bell and the little bell will then tell you when I upload my next video and it also helps the algorithm of this channel really well if you do that as well <laughs> so I hope you'll all have a really lovely day enjoy making your bracelets and I will see you again very soon with something else bye for now